dansa out of Uganda Dansa kutoka Uganda weyo Amekula matuke sasa ona One, two So we are leaving for Kitui And as usual, I'm accompanied here by Leon You guys know Leon So Yeah Join us for the road trip We share a safe journey So we just left Nairobi and now we shall be using uh, Thika Road um, through Garissa Road, then um, definitely the hand will be Kitui. Wow, it's been long. I haven't done such kind of a vlog, you know. I've been stuck in the sides of Rift Valley. You have seen me do a lot of videos about Rift Valley, <sighs> which you received so well. So, for my road trip. Be with me, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the link with your friends. So these are the kind of uh, public transport vehicles we have in the city of Nairobi. This, we call them Matatu. Matatu for three. Mm -hmm. we, by the way, we have two types of Matatu. The whole system, this one. Then uh, the one we just left behind, which we call Nganya. The kind of matatu with loud music, luxury of course, and uh, with luxury you expect um, the expense, yeah? You pay a lot to have that luxury, don't get it for free of course. So they charge double, for a very short distance, that's 100 bob, for that Ganya from this point, that's Mbakasi to town, Nairobi CBD, Nairobi Central Business District, then this one pays only, charges only 50 bob, that's half, 50 bob is about uh, 35 cents, yeah, that's it, so my name is Gosi Africa, I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. Our journey still continues, so we are along Thika Super Highway. So that's how beautiful Kenyan roads are. And to know as usual, whenever you're traveling up country, you need to have your stock. You need to have uh, some shopping. There are guys in uh, the villages, they expect you to have something. So big up to my boss, Obama. He always makes sure the team is sorted. So, at the look of the vehicle. Shopping a bit. And um, we're getting late, so some speed is needed. You guys don't be on my neck when you see us of a speed, I'm, I'm sure. 600 meters, so take the exit it. toward Thicker Road. Yeah, 600 meters, they hide. Now, let me show you a bit of the surrounding. So we're picking a friend, that's why you can hear I'm having my Google map on. Take the next left. Left, yeah. So I'm, we're picking my friend, yeah, to travel with them. A road trip yeah. is always for, yeah, yeah. A road trip is always uh, meant for a group of people. That's how you're going to enjoy a road trip. Yeah, you can never have a road trip alone and, four and claim to enjoy. Then as usual, when you're embarking on a trip, you need to fill your vehicle full tank. You don't know the next uh, point you're going to get a, a gas station. In Kenya, we call them petrol stations. So we're waiting for Leon to finish up filling his vehicle. I had a friend who used to do vlogs, like, be like, I'm teaching you how to drink water. Who doesn't know how to drink water? <laughs> it's hot, it's sunny, you need to hydrate. So water, 
go for your life. It's on a Monday, you know? For once I'm doing trip, uh, road trips on a Monday. Road, road trips are for weekends. But whenever you feel like you have that energy, you can always change your program a bit. Be flexible. Don't be too rigid, yeah? Take road trips a bit. Have a good time. So that is Leon. Yeah, he has set the pace. You see how Africans are driving big vehicles. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this helped me check out the mentality that Africans are suffering. Africans are living bad life. Let me tell you something. Africans are living the life you dream about. You know? It's only in Africa whereby you don't need credit for you to survive. I don't mean that we have a lot, but we are very genuine. We live according to our standards. We don't fake. We don't fake at all. The next minute I see someone reacting and saying that go see Africa is rich. Go see Africa drives big vehicles. No, that's not the case. You know, the challenge with being on the social media, being on the limelight, um, you need to be always ready for criticism. People will always attack you, people will always um, criticize what you do. So whenever I say I don't have money, I'm with somewhere in Trinidad and I'm saying that I don't have money, people will be like, why? You're driving big vehicles in Africa, what happened? <laughs> Leon is always the pace setter anyway. <laughs> so, we were heading towards Dikaro, but now we have to pick something in Nairobi CBD. So now we have to change our route. We just changed our route. We're not, we're no longer proceeding towards Dikaro. Now, this is how this area looks like. Just look at the roads. Look at those roads. Can you imagine this is Africa? So the black vehicle, that's uh, Leon's vehicle. Keep on subscribing to this channel. So, two days ago, we are contacting the Kamba Festival, which is one of the biggest festivals we have in Kenya and uh, East Africa. It was a big one, though I attended late. But now, the entire team of organizers, we here headed to Ketui. Yeah, we we so much happy that um, Obama saw the need of uh, uniting us together, you know. Go see Africa, showcasing Africa to the world. Then we have those guys dominating Kenya. So we're working together. We headed to, to Kitui for a party. That is the vehicle carrying, carrying um, Nicholas Kiyoko. Mm -hmm. You know Nicholas Kyoko is one of the biggest guys in the social media platforms in Kenya, you know. And uh, anyone doing uh, uh, this the Swahili content, now that Swahili is the biggest language we have in Kenya, they're receiving amazing love, they're receiving um, quite good following. But for us, you guys uh, don't do Swahili, 
I think I'm not that much good in Swahili. And that's why I get him following from Kenya is a problem. But I will talk to him. I need to tell him, uh, bro, <laughs> I need your helping hand. <laughs> helping this. I really need to be known by Kenyans. So, Nicholas Kyoko, if you're going to watch this. But I will address, I, I, I will address, address it direct to him. Yeah, I need to tell him that uh, we need to work together. Something uh, you need to understand about men. Men can be so close to each other, you work together, but when it comes to promoting your own brand, you tend to lay back. So you are, we, we be like, oh, work, yeah? Work your ass off. Let's meet at the top. So that's how men behave. Not unless there is much need. You see, I'm lagging behind and you have to pull me. So the traffic jam here, we're trying to be there. Picking someone. When I grow up, I would like to be at the level of Nicholas Kyoko and uh, Rick B. Can you imagine working with photographers all over and your editors at the same time? Damn, that feels good. Your personal assistants, you know, they have to be around you. But for me, I think I'm going to prioritize security more than all that. <laughs> and sometimes I do reaction and you know, can you imagine of reacting on someone who really doesn't entertain jokes? Because some of us really don't entertain jokes. You're reacting about some somebody's uh, behavior, character. Because we have to show, we have to show it whenever it's wanting. We have to uh, to voice it up. China Square. Can you see China Square? boys Let me give you some good views 
of Nairobi Westlands. The Westlands? This Westlands or Parklands? It's Parklands, I think. So this is one of the rich neighborhoods where Nairobians, rich Nairobians stay. Rich Nairobians live at these points. Kenyan government is working. You can see all these uh, roads. So that is the Nairobi Expressway. A road whereby for you to use it, you have to pay a toll fee. So now, I thought, why, why don't I give you a feel of the Nairobi Expressway? So this is the Nairobi Expressway whereby you have to part with a small fee, a tall fee for you to use this road. It's a special road whereby you don't expect to have traffic jam in it. Basically, your money works for you to be here. Nobody to manage your traffic. Um, you, you use your common sense. No one will stop you on the way. So the time you enter in this road, you have to scan. Uh, there is a gadget here, which get, gets scanned. Then, you're going to they're going to deduct once you get to the final point of exit that's when they deduct so this road was constructed by the Chinese The road is owned by the government. So it's a good avenue for revenue generation. You see, most of, more, more what? Skyscrapers coming up. Meanwhile, sit back, relax, and enjoy my road trip. I get to such a start on my it reminds me of my days growing up singing to folk songs I'm so good at this I know Someone was asking me, why is your channel not growing so fast yet you give so amazing content? You give such a good content. I told them, 
the difference between me and the, and the big people you're talking about you're trying to compare me to them the difference is time they started before me they started this game before I learned anything about it and thank you so much to the African Tigers I have to pause and uh, appreciate our well this is the person who made me um, have confidence in content creation you remember it's still a very small youtuber meeting with African Tigers and having a con doing content with her and thank you to the people of um, the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago. If it were not for African tigers traveling to Trinidad and Tobago for the carnival, then nobody would be knowing me. Yeah? But through the reactions I made about Trinidad and the people of Trinidad, yeah, these guys motivated me be like oh go see africa you need to visit trinidad we are ready to host you we are ready to take you around but guess what a time is coming so that's the exit to the sides of cabanas city cabanas so the people of trinidad and tobago motivated me more to work on my dream so this is the end of the Nairobi Expressway. It ends at Mlolongo. Mlolongo is in, is in Machakos County. So we're just going straight. Oh, my phone is falling. Leon! Leon, say hi to these people. You guys, you need. To, uh, let me have Leon say hi. <laughs> we started talking with this guy. He immediately left high school. Was still a small boy. Now he's bigger than me. <laughs> yeah, he's doing. He, he has a lot of money. <laughs> let me show you where I grew up at. This is the estate where I used to live as a. By then we never used to have this uh, such as yeah, those as the uh, buildings. So we thought instead of using Thika Road, we can as well use uh, Machakos, the route through Machakos. Machakos County is one of the most developing counties we have in the country. So it's just next to. Nairobi and we have very many people living in Machakos and working in Nairobi so just in case you don't know what Nairobi is it's, it is the capital city of Kenya a very industrious county what most of you call it county yeah <laughs> so um we have several industries there mombasa cement uh bamburi cement portland cement savannah cement they are all here the biggest cement cards uh, the biggest uh, factories manufacturing cement they are here now that um we have the quarry, yeah? The limestone quarry somewhere next to this place. But in a different county, Kajiado County. Uh, it would be so bad if a time will come that I won't recognize what uh, this girl did to me. Thank you so much. So whoever is watching this video and you are really a good fan of African Tigers, 
let her know that I value her that much. Let her know that I appreciated her. She did something that I may never forget. Yeah, I, not even I may never. If she did something to me that I can never forget. Thank you, Tigress. This is Machakos County. Our rich neighbors moved to the outcasts of the city. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whoever is doubting, this is Africa. We are now approaching Machakos Town, which is the headquarters of Machakos County. You know, this neighborhood reminds me of my days in high school. Boys from such a locality, they felt like a superstar, bro. And I don't know how they managed to, to convince us that they, they live the best life. Growing <laughs> Road trip, and you know, so uh, we're taking a nap a bit, take some photos, then uh, proceed with our journey. <laughs>
road trips to the village we made it on time we made it safe yeah so we thank god for the uh for the journey Moses. you know it feels good being at the village whereby you're breathing this fresh air we don't have industries here we don't have uh the struggles we have to undergo at the city the traffic jam yeah all that you know at the village we don't pay rent so you are here simply enjoying um what you invested in but for me this is not my house so i'm not rich <laughs> so eventually the party is at the river Kayo river this marked the end of our disco what we call commandico in our local language so now we headed back to Kitui Command Center, Obama's office. Remember Obama is so influential in Kitui politics. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? In Botswana. What's up, what's up? Oh, in Botswana? Yeah, yeah. So let me show you how we fetch water from this side. Yeah. I want to show them how we fetch water from this side. Look at the boy. A very brave boy doing this. So I have a song on my background. I don't know whether I'm getting copyrighted or not, but this is how we do it. It's a very clean drinking water. A very clean one. Damn, go see Africa. This side of Kenya, Kitui County. So this is Kyle River. Damn, I'm having a very loud music on my background. Hoping that I won't get copyrighted. By doing, the boy is doing a good job. Ah, let me let me lift it for you. <laughs> Oh, but the man, then when I drop, you know it's a man.